good and is looking a little different. I thought I would start this off by kind of just giving you an update on what's going on with Zingaro and uh, what's going on with us and what our plans are and why we've been absent from YouTube for the last three months. So I have had my channel now for seven years. Woo! Two applause. And in that time, uh, I haven't taken much time off. So I'm, I, we took about three months off when, while we were doing charters in Sun Blast to raise money for all the shit that we needed for Cape Horn to add to the boat. Hence what this video is going to be about. We're going to be unboxing all that stuff that we bought with the money from the charters. So let me see who's here real quick. Let me see if I can get some um, chats here. I'm not really sure. Here we go. Chat, live chat. There we go. Martin, what's up? David, what's up? Rico's here. What's up, guys? Hey, um, can you guys let me know if you can see me and hear me okay? Um, hey, Albert's here. What's up, Albert? David Teague is here. Uh, thanks, man. T Hello from Texas. Trip is here. What's up, buddy? Um, okay, so let me know that this is going good because this is coming out through our brand new Starlink. So... If this works, I'm going to have a lot more of these coming up in the future. We're going to do what I really want to do, guys, is I want to I want a live stream going around the horn. How badass would that be? All right, so we've got uh, Farmer and Flyins here. Sweet dude, Joe Breezy. Ah, uh, you guys are rad. Okay, so I'm going to go through really quickly what what's going on now that a bunch of people are here. We took three months break because I haven't had a break in like seven years, and it was just awesome. Um, in that time, I've kind of revitalized my love for making videos and telling stories, and it was a definite necessity. And we've made a bunch of money from doing charters, which were actually just basically the patrons that came down to the boat. Uh, I want to read you one of the one of the um, reviews that I got, just because it's so beautiful. Uh, it's from a guy named Brian Gunnison. Thank you very much for writing this. I didn't ask him to write it. He just said, hey, man, if this can help out, uh, you know, Maybe maybe it'll help you out. So I'm going to read it to you. Um, I don't know how to put it on the screen, so I'm just going to flip this around real quick. There you go. It says, Intro to Cruising, Sailing Zingaro. Be prepared. Be prepared physically. Hit the gym. Be prepared mentally. With your eyes wide open for an experience out of your ordinary world into tropical paradise. You are immersed in Captain James' world of sailing on a boat that is now your home. Mi casa, su casa are the first word James uttered when he welcomes you on board. Uh, I think it's take off your freaking shoes. <laughs> um, Zingaro is a warm welcome from dusk till dawn. Be prepared to work, scramble, bend, crawl, and as getting around on a sailboat when it is moving requires one hand holding on at all times. Be careful of the boom as it literally goes boom when you hit it with your, with your head. Sleep outside in the cockpit for the full experience of wind, water, and just enough rain to keep cool. After an active experience of sailing, snorkeling, spearfishing, be prepared for a healthy and tasty meal from Anna. Anna is a delight, smiling every morning. Fresh fruit, fresh fish, caught that day by James. Corn, pancakes, much more. All done with love to feed the hungry crew. Leave your computer screens at home. Spend days staring at the classic islands of Sandblast. Get to know the people who are truly value adventure. Oh, who truly value adventure. James and Anna are special people and we and will welcome you aboard. Oh, dude, that's beautiful, man. Thank you very much. Brian, if you're watching this, much love, my friend. That was really fun 10 days that we had with you. So uh, just as a disclaimer, I am shamelessly going to plug myself during this time. I have had so much fun with all the people in Sunblast. If you can, we've got one more Sunblast thing open. Just one, o only two people. So this is the stuff that's that's uh, available, already completed. We've already completed four. We've got one more, and I've already had one person email me about this today. So there might just be one spot left. This place is beautiful. That's all I'm gonna say about it. It's great food, fresh fish, spear fishing, snorkeling every day. Come join us. It's really freaking fun. And if you can't make sound blast, there's a couple more on that. Just go to sailingsandgaro.com, please. All right, now I'm going to get to some of your uh, some of your stuff. He says, um, consider. Dave says, consider the Jordan series drogue. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I am going to get a Jordan series drogue. I definitely am going to get a drogue and a parachute anchor before we get down really south. Um, 
Martin says, ducking, awesome idea. Live streaming, going around the horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's cool too. David says, what are shoes? <laughs> I love it. Um, says uh, Joe says, just lost video. And SV Sal Serenity says, Starlink is working. I see you. Okay, well, I don't know why that's happening. Let, let me just switch it back and then switch it, switch it again. Can you guys all see me okay? Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna put on my shades and put on my hat and put on my shoes because it is so hot out there that I can't even step on board my boat without putting on my shoes. But, so we're gonna put the old trusty Zapatos on. The Zapatos in this country. Okay, cool. So it looks like everybody can see me still. All right, so it's gonna be hard for me to uh, read all these comments. So I'll take breaks periodically and, and say hi to you guys and read the comments. Uh, but why do you take a load of all this crap? E even in that picture, it's not everything. Check it out, it's crazy. Thank you guys for joining me. I've got my trusty knife. This was a gift from uh, Mr. Billy Street. Thank you very much, Billy. It is a, uh, it's a rigger's knife, so it's got a knife on one side and a, a marlin spike on the other side, which I can't take out with one hand. Oh, there it goes. Marlin spike on the other side. This is a nice thing to have. Very cool, very cool gift. All right. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to see the mayhem. Okay, so these boxes are from Total Boat. Um, Total Boat is an awesome place. It's actually the, if you guys have ever heard of Jamestown Distributors, uh, they started a company called Total, Total Boat. It's a subsidiary of Jamestown, and they make their own epoxies and paints, and they're cool people. And if I buy paint, I buy it from them. Um, so that's all that stuff. There's a new, um, this box is here, and there's a sheesh, a lot of boxes back here. All right. So let me explain to you guys what all this stuff is. And then we'll go through. Or maybe I should just go through. Yeah, I think I'll just start start opening. We're going to open the most important package first. I don't know if you guys can see the packaging on this, the labeling on this, but um, it is the most important package. It is. Oh, man. It's, it's got more boxes inside boxes. So much shipping material. That's the only thing I hate about this lifestyle is everybody they, they send me all this like look at that man i don't need that what am i gonna do with that that's just gonna go in the garbage oh here we go oh, that's a crazy one check this out this is one gallon oh shit I just dropped it that'll be okay that's one gallon of original flavor Tabasco sauce. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I can't. I can't flip the screen. Oh no! I did. I did this wrong. I did it up right side up again. Dang it. Shoot. Oh whatever. I'm not very good at this whole live stream thing. Sorry. All right. So uh, this is one gallon of Tabasco sauce, and there's two of them in there. So I got me two gallons of Tabasco sauce. Because it's hard to find in this country. It's crazy. Shoot. You know what? What do you guys think about me um, switching this and switching it over to like the, the landscape mode? I think I should. There's 110 of you on here. I'd hate to like lose all of you. But uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, you can get them in, in gallon sizes. No problem. Isn't that awesome? Okay, uh, look at this. It's actually like the box says Tabasco on it. Good thing they didn't send me that. Somebody would have stolen it. Okay, as we do this, I'm going to kind of like just set the boxes on the, on the thing. Okay, this is... I already opened this one. From a company called Spurs. Oh, they sent me a pair of gloves. That's cool. These are nice. And Spurs is a... Um, line cutter for the bottom of the boat. So here's one piece of it. Here's another piece. Here's here's what it looks like. It's a pretty cool system. Whoa, that thing looks crazy. Look at that. So it, it spins and it cuts the line just like that. 
Well, that looks mean. Holy crap. You don't want to get your fingers in there for sure. That's sharp as shit. Wow, it's super sharp. Oh my god. Yeah, if you get your finger in there, it would cut it off for sure. But anyway, that's the line cutter that'll go on the shaft. And uh, thank you, Spurs, for sending me that. That is a, just just in all fairness and all disclosure, some of these things are sponsorship items. So that is a sponsorship item. But I chose, I chose it, you know? And the reason I chose it is because it's American made. They're made in Florida. Uh, they, they looked like it, the best, um, you know, when you, when you look at line cutters, there's like, there's a few different choices. You can get one that's just a round disc that's sharp, and you can get one that kind of cuts everything like this one, and you can get them made, they're made in here in the States, or you can get them made in, in the UK. And, you know, I, I saw them at the boat show and they were cool and I just connected with the people and that's, that's how that worked. All right, this, I'll, oh cool, this is a, uh, a tuner for my, I have a cello now. <laughs> so I have a cello and a cajon and a guitar and a ukulele on board now. So this is a, a little snark tuner for the cello. Uh, learning cello, I don't actually play cello, but I play bass, so it's not, it's a learning experience. Who's that? Oh, it's be Thunder Road. What's up? This is um, lighting for the top. So I'm gonna take this LED strip lighting and I'm gonna, whoops, it's gonna go up here. Let me see if I can see. I'm gonna try to change it around. So that is gonna go up on the top of this and it's gonna go all the way around here. So it'll be like three, three pieces, one here, one here, and one here, and they'll all light up and it'll, it'll kind of like glow from the underneath instead of being so harsh, like a spotlight or something. And it'll make it easy to get on and off the boat in the dark. All right, so that's those two things. This is a hell of a lot of packaging. I mean, I'm, I, I hate to keep saying that, but look at all this packaging and these two little things. One, two, look at that, it's a huge box. Amazon, all this crap. Okay. Uh, let's open this. Oh, you know what this is? This is the motor for my water maker. So I finally got a water maker. I'm not going to open that because I want it to stay in the package for now until I'm ready to install it. But Seawater Pro, big shout out to Mike. They're the ones that I sent all this stuff to for the last four months. As I was getting paid for the charters, I was buying things that I needed. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you guys through right now exactly what I, I ordered, okay? So... Those are two new heads. They're Raritan Elex C Elegance uh, freshwater electric heads, um, nice heads. And I got those because this boat, when it was made, it has an anti-siphon valve, and the anti-siphon valve is about six feet. It's about four feet above the waterline. So you have to pump so many times that no one ever pumps the toilets out, and, I've, and they always backfill with all the shit and pee and stuff. So I got this so I can program how much water is going to go through and they just have to push one button and, and it flushes all of it for them. I, I have a lot of um, a lot of people that aren't boaters coming onto the boat and it's just hard to, to understand like switch it to, to fe, uh, fill, switch it to dry, pump it 15 times, switch it to fill, pump it 15 times. It's just too much. So no one ever gets it right and I'm sick of it and I just want it to be easy. Um, this is a new mattress from mattress insider that's for the back room here it's a custom made mattress um that is the rest of the water maker that is a new water heater this these are dakota lithium batteries let's take one of these out of the box real quick because these are badass these are warranty items because i uh i had five of them die on me when i left the boat in columbia and i called them up and they're like no problem james we will hook you up and they sent me these it took me a while to get them and it was a, a real bear to try to get all the paperwork done for them um but that is my new battery so i'm gonna have 13 of those bad boys now because i i called them i don't know if i should be telling you this or not but whatever i i wrote, wrote them and i said what do you want me to do with these old batteries and they're like oh you just you know we're, it, it's too much money for us to ship them back so just give them away or, or what do whatever you can with them or recycle them and I said, do you mind if I 
try and fix them, like open them up. They're like, well, you're gonna avoid the warranty on the batteries, but go ahead. So I was able to fix them. So now I have 13 of them. One of them died, so 12, 12 total. Uh, but this is gonna be awesome. These are 24 volt, 50 amp batteries. So I have a 24 volt system on the boat. Hey, Dano's here. And, ah, Tim and Cindy are here. What's up, dude? How are you guys doing? Oh, man, I miss you guys. I wish there was a way I could show you the gifts that I gave you, the, to the teeth. So I, I gave Tim and Cindy, they came down for a charter, and they got, um, I collect the bones from the fish. I'll show you. And I, I made them a couple of special ones. One was a dog snapper, a really pretty dog snapper set. And, and actually, the other one was a trigger fish. And it was badass, man. It, was, it ended up being really cool. So this is the stuff that I, oh, I got this, by the way. My mom brought this down. To Sailing Zingaro for passing 100,000 subscribers. Um, check it out. So I collect these. These are like teeth from, um, this is from a dog snapper. This is from a grouper. I just haven't, I haven't um, glued them together yet. Groupers have crazy teeth. They have like four rows of teeth like a, like a shark. It's crazy, right? Anyway, they got one of those. Um, oh, yeah, you, you thought it was a barracuda, huh? Hey, what's up? Mike from w, SWP is the nicest guy. Yeah, from Seawater Pro. He's the coolest dude ever. So anyway, Mike uh, collected all this stuff for me over the last few months, kept it in his warehouse, and then shipped it to my shipping company and actually drove it there personally. Uh, well, I don't know if it's personally, but I had, had a guy drive it there, and uh, he, man, he's such a nice dude. Gave me a water maker. I can't say enough about that company. Really awesome people. Uh, I think that's that's the most important thing when you work with somebody. All right, let's get back to whatever what else this stuff is. This, oh, we need to open that. You guys are gonna freak out. Let's get this. Let's open it inside. I'm going to take it downstairs real quick. You guys are going to love this. I know this is a little scatterbrain, but this is my new camera. This is the one that's going to, I'm going to use for the rest of the trip. It's a Sony FX3 and it's awesome. I love this camera and I've got a um, 2.8 24 to 70 GM2 lens on it. If you're a camera nerd, then you're probably, I'm not going to say it. I'm trying to be more, more kid friendly, family friendly. So I can't say that a camera is going to give you a boner. I can't say that anymore. All right, so this, this is badass, watch. I waited two years for this, two years. I ordered this when my broke. So when my cat broke in half, I met this guy, his name is Jake, Jake Ramey and Jake, is a cabinet maker and a woodworker and has a huge woodworking shop and uh he also makes spear guns he makes like 12 he makes like one a month 12 spear guns a year and he calls them Ramey custom and they are literally works of art so let's see if i can get this out real quick with one hand no i'm gonna have to set this down for just a second guys give me a second I can't believe I finally got this here. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Look, the tape is so old that it's not even sticky anymore because the damn thing's been sitting in there for two years. I need my knife. I need my trusty knife. Okay. It's gonna be worth it, I promise. Watch this. Oh. Look at that bad boy. That's a beautiful, beautiful gun. All right, we're gonna take this whole thing apart. Just so you can see the majesty of the spear gun. Spear gun, spear gun. All right, three bands on this gun, and they're integrated into the head, into the wood. 
Look at that. Look at that workmanship, huh? Badass, huh? And then this is, um, so he fill he routes this out and he fills it with epoxy and then and then colors the epoxy and then makes it exactly the size of the of the shaft. So the shaft goes in and, and it won't fall out. So you don't need to use any kind of hooks or anything. And then the whole gun's teak and he, he inserts this carbon tube and the carbon tube goes all the way up to here and it fills with water ballast. So the gun will move easily. This is, ah, Rick Jacob, you are the man. Here's, here's his uh, logo here, Ramey Customs. And here's the name of the gun. It's called a Xiphius. And I seem to remember asking him about putting my logo on it. I thought it might have my logo on it, but I guess it doesn't. Hold on a second, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, here it is. Check it out. Yeah. Thanks, man. Looks great. He lasered it in on both sides. Ah, cool. It's perfect. I love it. Jake, really nice job. That'll go well with this spear gun. This is a Rob Allen uh, 130. And this one, this is a Rob Allen 100. Um, I use this one a lot, as you can tell, all the paint's coming off of it. Uh, yeah, that'll be nice. Be nice to have three of them. Okay. So, how are you guys doing? Howdy from Australia, Tim Jackson, what's up? Oh, Anna's there, what's up, babe? How you doing? Hey, uh, so, we're gonna announce this on Facebook, or I mean on, uh, on YouTube in a video, but um, Anna is pregnant, we're gonna have a baby. Yay! We call it coconut right now, because it's about the size of a coconut. Um, Okay, back to unboxing. Yeah, big, big news, huh? I wasn't going to tell you guys that, but yeah, whatever. I can't keep it a secret any longer. I can't keep it a secret. I'm very excited. I, I have wanted, I love kids, and I've wanted to be a dad for so long, man. Uh, and now I got a beautiful, beautiful woman that I'm going to have a baby with. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't even know what this is. Priority now. I wonder why they put it in the bag. Oh, um, you know what? It must have gotten mailed twice. It must have gotten mailed twice. Some of this stuff I know what it is, and some of some of, some of this stuff you're kind of along the ride with me, people. Oh, oh. What is it? What could it? Oh God, more packaging? Are you serious? Seriously. It is. Oh, Velcro? All this for Velcro? Holy crap. That's crazy. Uh oh, I cut the Velcro. Okay, so these Velcro strips are the strongest you can buy. If you do want to put some Velcro in your boat, use this shit. It's, it's called. Um, Holds 15 pounds, extreme outdoor. So the problem with Velcro is if you get the shitty stuff, it just falls apart after a few months. And all of my headliners are held up by Velcro. So this stuff is the only stuff that works. It's, it's expensive because and it's name brand. But in this case, you don't just pay for the name, you pay for the patent. I'm not sure if this is still patented, but make the best stuff. So we got two of those, good. Cool. All right, let's move some of this stuff. This is a charger for the battery. All the, all the batteries come with their own little charger. Oh, this is a different charger. It's smaller now. Oh, I like it way better. Much better, guys. Nicely done. Five amp charger for uh, the batteries. They used to come with this big, fat, huge thing. Now they, they're streamlining it. That's good. It looks great. Good packaging, too. I love this company. Awesome thing for the boat, by the way, lithium batteries. If you guys don't have lithium batteries, absolutely consider it. It is freaking godsend. Okay, so we saw the Tabasco sauce. Oh, let's let's open this one. 
I just realized I'm not going to have enough space here if I just keep opening stuff. I'm going to have to get rid of some of this packaging. Okay, this is... Oh, oh, there goes one. This is an induction cooktop. And this, I think, will fit right on my grill. Let's see if it does or not. Oh my god! It's heavy. Let's take it downstairs and see if it fits on the grill. Because this is going to be a game changer too. So I, like I said, we have lithium batteries and we use like, I don't know, 20% the power capabilities of the lithium. So I'd like to be able to take advantage of a little bit more and use like 30 or 40%, maybe even 50% of the battery cap capacity per dia, per, per dia, per day. Um, let me move this stuff real quick. Oh, oil. She, the girl likes to fry. Let me see what you guys are saying. Greetings from Turkey. Oh, Joe says you'll be an awesome dad. Thank you, Joe. Um, Albert says such a noble part. Oh, that's great. Um, thanks, Albert. Uh, Shane says congrats. Scabie is here. What's up, Chris? Excited for you both. Congrats. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Big hugs. Farmer and flying. Jeremy says, you sound like me every time I get something from Amazon. Drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let, let me see if this induction cooktop will work. I'm going to need a bigger boat. So, look, this is what the Velcro is for. Oh, I think I've got a piece right here. So these are my headliners. And these are all held up by Velcro. And this is the old shitty Velcro. It doesn't work very good. This is the really old Velcro that the boat came with. This is actually good Velcro, but it's just old. So I just ripped this Velcro off and we put the new Velcro on and we staple it with Monel staples because all the other staples will rust just like this is all rusted. It's, it's a game. You got to play it. You got to, you got to think ahead. You got to think about it before you, before you do anything. Okay. When you're when you own a boat, it ha everything has to be. Oh, oh, that's why they do that. Monel staples. Ah, they don't rust. I need a Monel knife. Okay. Let's see. This says top here. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put this down just for a second to get this out of here. Okay. Holy shit. I'm like, I can feel the environment weeping right now from all this styrofoam that I'm getting. Okay, this is the induction thing. And let's see if it fits. Come with me. Haha, -ha, perfect. Heck yeah. Perfect fit. Now I just gotta, it'll still gimbal now, which would be good. We just gotta make it like, I don't know, tie wrap it so it's perfectly in the center so it gimbals well. And that's it. Wow, it fits perfectly. Look at that. It's got like a quarter inch on each side. Sweet. I wasn't sure if it would fit or not. I kind of did that on faith. Okay, sweet. Um, now, what comes with getting an uh, induction cooktop is you need induction pans. So we uh, we bought induction cookware, and No Breather says, hopefully your cookware will work with the induction top. I have an induction stove, you need to have the right pans for it. They have to be magnetic. Thanks for 10 bucks, man, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I was just, that's funny, you read my mind. Uh, so that, that will be in one of these boxes. Here, let's go try to open one of these, that one. Let's try to find it, it'll be right here. Okay, another thing that I got for the boat that's going to be a really cool project that you guys are going to want to watch is um, I went to supplyhouse.com, this place here. I, they are in no way a uh, sponsor of mine, but um, 
Seems like a good company. They hooked me up with all, all everything I need to redo the entire boat's plumbing. So I'm going to be redoing the entire boat's plumbing with this Propex. It's um, it's from Upanor. It's I'll explain it to you on the video. But basically, it's plastic tubing, and it and it has like a memory. So you expand it, then you put it over the fitting, and it and it compresses back down, and it's got. 3000 PSI. I did it on my Morgan 41 before I started YouTube and it is the best thing to use for a boat because it can freeze and it doesn't break. Uh, it never leaks. You can have individual shutoffs for everything. You can color code the tubing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be a really nice um, upgrade to the boat. So new heads, new water heater and uh, new plumbing. Are all plumbing. Oh no, that's that's the Sailrite machine. Oh, cool. The Sailrite machine was a gift from an anonymous uh, patron. Thank you very, very, very much. That is an awesome gift. That is going to come in handy. I'm going to end up having to redo all these covers that I did in Colombia because I couldn't get the right material in Colombia. And as you can see, they're just getting kind of trashed. So look, if you look closely, you can, you can see like how stained. Oh boy, it's not focusing. There we go. Kind of how stained they're getting. And that's just discoloration with use. You know, I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to have to end up um, remaking all of those with Sombrella. So for the, for the sails, I got brown Sombrella. So I'll have a blue boat with brown Sombrella here on the, on the sails. And then I'm going to do brown Sombrella on the rest of this stuff. Probably leave the after cushions alone because they are just going to get trashed eventually anyway. So, I mean, they're super dirty. Um, you can take. I made them. I made all these so you can take them apart, take the foam out, and, and um, redo all of them, like uh, wash them. Now, where did the defender box go? Oh, here. Sweet. We're gonna open that one. Uh, first, we'll open this one. This is LED solar. Oh, they're the lawn lamps. Okay, cool. So check this out, guys. I got these from um, Home Depot because I saw them on another boat. There are these led solar lawn lamps and check this out if you don't put the extensions on them they fit perfectly in the winch look perfectly and they they look like they're on, they're on fire they look like a candle so they charge all day and they look like a candle at night so i got six of them and i'll put them in the winches and it'll look super cool and uh, I saw that aboard uh, Sail Libra. Ryan from Sail Libra had those. And they're badass. So, yeah, if you guys, um, you can go, you can buy them through Home Depot. That's where I bought them from. They're called, let me see if I can get a name for you. Called LED Solar Flame Lamp Eye Catching Dancing Flame. And they're from WBM. And they're great. Yeah, eventually they die. But these are, I got, well, let's see, two, four, six of them. So that's all six of those. Also, lots of packaging for that little thing. <laughs> I'll shut up about that eventually. Let's see, this is up. Doesn't say. I'm going to pretend like this is up. This is going to be a cool, a cool one. <laughs> This is, has all of my stuff for the toilets, and it's got some other goodies in it, too. So all right. A bunch of spares and pumps and all kinds of stuff in here. So, let's see. We've got a rebuild kit for a whale gusher pump. That'll, that's my, uh, my, I use those for my um, shower pumps. I've also got another impeller for, this is for my bilge pump, spare. This is for a new discharge hose for both, both heads. That stuff is crazy expensive. If you've ever, if you've ever uh, bought, you know, inch and a half hose, 
It's like nine dollars a foot or something crazy. And that's 19 feet, I think. Um, oh my god! Uh, let's see. Smart toilet control, that's for the head. I'll wait on that one. This is a new rail pump for the head, the Gopher 320, which that kit is the rebuild kit for this pump. And this pump is going to go in the aft head, and that pump is, that's still good, is going to go in the forward head because that one's been acting up. Another smart controller for the toilet. So basically the smart controller makes it so you can just push one button and then I can program in how, how long it takes, how many seconds, how much water goes through and all that. And then this is the last thing. This should be the cookware. Watch this, this is gonna be cool. I gotta put this down for a second. This will be a cool shot. Yeah. Let's stand on some packing. Yeah. Okay, well. Alright, so this, if you can see, is magma set of um, ceramic nesting induction compatible cookware and it nests in like this can you see it it nests up into nothing and it's got like five different pots and pans it's awesome so yeah it's it's it should take up less space which is always a plus honestly though okay. I think it's got a bag. Oh, look at that. It's really just that big. Awesome. Cool. That'll come in handy. Uh, okay, sewing machine. The last thing I need to do is get this thing inside and open it up inside because that is the new mattress. But I'm going to have to videotape that because the company sent me that. So that needs to be in the YouTube series. So I can't do that right now. Uh, the rest of this stuff is batteries here. Batteries here, so one, two, three, four, five batteries. Water heater, uh, those are the, um, that's the equipment for the, the water maker. That's the Sailrite sewing machine. We already saw all this stuff. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is cabling, so I can hook up my very heavy duty cable. I think it's anchor. It might be. No, it's not anchor. Uh, it's, it's just cabling for my um, uh, solar system. So my solar system doesn't lose so much impedance. It doesn't, doesn't have so much resistance to get to the batteries. So that's what that is for. Um, this is from Supply House. This will be all the connectors and stuff for the new plumbing system oh this isn't even connectors this is a new um, pre-pressurized diaphragm tank so I'm, I'm putting in a i think this one is two gallons two and a half gallon expansion tank um i haven't had one it, the, the expansion tank went out like right after i bought the boat so you basically put that in there so the pump doesn't have to work so much so you have a little bit of pressure you can use two and a half gallons worth of pressure and then the pump kit clicks on uh, uh, fills up the expansion tank and the rest of the system and then the expansion tank works for another two gallons you know just so if you're just, if you're using it and you're washing the dishes and stuff it's not like you know what i mean it's, it burns off the pump okay we're gonna go up to the jamestown distributors total boat stuff and i'll show you guys what they sent me and as i've told you guys i'm going to cape horn so uh, I, I one of the stops in cape this cape horn trip is going to be galapagos one of the requirements of Galapagos is that I paint the bottom. So I had these guys send me six gallons of bottom paint. And I'm thinking this is probably one of them. Let's, let me just see.
little bit. They have a really good um, resin too. I went up and visited the factory and they have a better resin than um, the rest of the guys. It doesn't, it doesn't have any amine blush, or so they say. Well, we will be testing that theory because I got some of that. And I think this might be it. Oh my God, more boxes. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so it's one, two, three boxes. And this is two one gallons of which looks like water oh, yeah. This is something that needs to be stored in the boat. So they come in pails like this, I guess. one hand. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yes. So this is multi-season ablative anti-fouling paint. So there should be six of these. That's what those little boxes are going to be. Wow, they came in three boxes. Look at that. One, two, three, plus the, plus the paint can. Seems like a little mush. So that'll be that ablative paint. This will be the ablative paint. This is my new fridge. I, I went with a uh, Technotics blue, cool blue fridge. Um, this is also a half of a sponsorship. So he gave me 50% discount for mentioning uh, and showing the install on the channel. So this is another thing that I'll have to install on the videos, but this is what it looks like. And the reason I went with this company is because they're the best. They're the, uh, they're actually the most efficient fridge on the market. And it fits right in where my current fridge does. So that'll be nice. My fridge is super screwed up. It's own been only problems. I've spent a lot of money trying to, trying to get it to work. Um, this is a new washing machine. That's just going to stay in the box for now until we're ready to install it, which is going to be a while. And then, Here's another box from Defender. Sweet, let's put it in there. I'm not sure what else I bought from Defender. It looks like these have been opened, probably by the customs people. So let's see what else is here. Oh boy. I don't even know if I want to see in there. Is this box material? Holy shnikes. I use box material. Oh, you know what this is? These are all my roll, all my um, TDS. Oh, sweet! So I can cock my deck. So this stuff is how is what you put here on the deck. You can see the white in there. So the deck was starting to lift up, and and this is um, some glue that I used to hold it down. And then I, I screwed screws into the deck and held it down and let it dry. So now I have to router out this part, and then I'm going to put this TDS here. So that's what this black stuff is. And I need it there, I need it on the back there, over there, over there. There's a bunch of spots on the boat. All of this needs to be done. There's a couple of spots where I've started to route out the, you see where I've routed it out? So it looks like crap. Um, eventually it'll all, it'll all look nice. This is a ton of work. Let me tell you guys what I really think about teak decks. I love teak, teak decks. A lot of people say they're too hot. Uh, I say you have wussy feet. Uh, if, if you think teak decks are too hot, they do get hot. Well, I'll give you that. They do, they, everything gets too hot. Even even plastic decks get too hot. But when it's raining, it's grippy. When it's cold, it's grippy. When it's uh, you know you've taken a lot of water over the boat and you got to go up on the front and you got to mess with some some stuff, it's grippy. It takes it a really bad abuse like if i drop some gasoline on it no problem i guess same as plastic but plastic um you're always cleaning off like scuff marks and stuff with teak you don't have to in this in the on the other hand of that coin uh you have to do a lot of maintenance to it but you know if, if, it, if it is done in a timely manner with correct materials then you re it's really not that bad what i'm doing is i'm making up for like 20 years of abuse so I have to redo the whole deck, you know. Eventually, I'm going to come back to Columbia and, and have this deck completely replaced. 
um, that'll be fine before I sell the boat. All right, man, that's pretty much it. I got a bunch more paint from Total Boat. There, um, I'm, I was thinking about maybe having someone come down and paint some stuff on the sides of the boat like I had on my cat. I haven't decided what, what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I've also got some wiring stuff. I got a couple books. This is one called um, Two Against Cape Horn by Hal Roth. I haven't read that one. I am a, I love reading. I'm a voracious reader. I'm reading uh, Lynn and Larry Party's Storm Tactics right now. It's a good book. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on with Zing. I think that's everything, guys. Um, I didn't show you the cold plate for the, for the fridge, so that's one piece of the fridge. And this is another piece. That is a cold plate that goes inside the fridge. So uh, that'll be all done on my series of videos. So to recap, this is what I got. Five new batteries, new mattress, new fridge, new Sailrite sewing machine, all the plumbing for the boat, all the wiring for the solar panels. So they'll, they'll be directly wired all, all to the batteries. I uh, got an induction cookware and some lights, uh, a couple new pumps and spares. Um, let's see what else. I got new heads, two new, two new electric heads, um, <laughs> two gallons of Tabasco sauce, um, and a lot of paint from Total Boat, uh, including bottom paint and some topside paint and some urethane and some lacquer so I can redo some of the inside of the boat too. And then we got a, a, a washing machine. It's the same washing machine that um, that um, Ryan and Sophie got. And so I used them as like a, you know, a bouncing board on that one. Like, is it good? Can I use it? Is it, is it okay? Does it use too much power? Does it use too much water? So it's, stuff like that. Then we got five, five cans of TDS to, to patch up some of the deck and uh, some Velcro for the, for the headliners. That's what we got so, oh, and a new water heater. Um, that's, that's what we got so far in this shipment, but this shipment isn't the only things that we've added to the boat. Uh, I've just been sp sponsored, half sponsored by uh, Vela Sailing Supply. So we're gonna change out all of the running rigging. So you can see all my running rigging is pretty, it's pretty sad state right now. This is my spare halyard for the jib. Um, this halyard's good, but all of this stuff, all the running rig rigging and blocks, all those blocks are gonna be changed out. Uh, the one on the, at the top of the mast, uh, the, the fiddle and, and uh, Beckett blocks in the back, all that stuff is gonna be changed by Vela. Um, I don't know what the, the discount he's given me is gonna be, but I'm super happy to be working with Rod again. He's a nice guy. He's the guy that hooked us up with the uh, furler in the front of the boat. And the fore stay and the back stay. So he's gonna give us the rest of the standing rigging, running rigging, and all the blocks and deck hardware. That includes the clutches, uh, this clutch, um, the, the orga deck organizers, that's this, these. You see how this one doesn't even have a, a wheel in it. Can you see that? I can't see the screen. Yeah, this one doesn't have a wheel. This one has a wheel, no wheel here, because it's broken. So I need I need new stuff. But I can't go around with this like, you know, I'm not gonna go around the horn and take people with the boat off. That's all speed up. So I'm just gonna change everything. It'll all be new. Um, eventually I'll have to change the um, chain. I want a new chain. I also want a generator. The generator's gonna be like 10 grand. So I don't know what to do about that, but We'll figure it out. Um, I also, oh, we're getting new sales. Thanks to Precision Sales. That is a full 100% uh, sponsorship. And, and I'm actually taking Daryl, the owner of the company, um, to Antarctica with me. <laughs> so we're getting a new main, a new jib. Uh, I have a, a Hank on Staysail. I'm, I'm gonna end up turning the Staysail. As you can see, I, ha I took off the cutter rig right here there used to be two further there was one here and then there was one here on this on this chain plate and the second one goes up to the fractional so that's the second spreaders here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a um a dyneema wire from here down and it's going to it's going to split like about four feet off the deck and it's going to split and it's going to tie to both of the cleats that will be my new staysail and because i did that so the dinghy could fit here so i'm going to put the dinghy on deck and it's perfect it fits with like an inch of clearance. It goes from an inch behind the windlass all the way back to the baby stay. And it is perfect. So that way I can wrench it down and like make it part of the boat. And if we get into a really bad, nasty, nasty weather, 
where I'm taking big waves and stuff. I don't have to worry about the thingy getting ripped off the back or that, that windage in the back. Or, it'll just be better for everything. It's, trust me, it's better. So that's the plan. I've already mapped it out. I've already gotten the thingy on and off with the thing um, secured here. So if, it, if everything works out to plan, I sh it should be a pretty permanent stay. It'll be tightened with the winch, just like I did my last Dyneema shrouds on my last boat. And the reason I didn't go with Dyneema for the whole boat is two reasons. One, I want to sell the boat eventually. And it's harder to sell a boat with custom rigging. And two, uh, because I'm going into the cold, I just, I just, I want steel there. And I've already done the four stay and the back stay, so really the only stays I have to do are these six. Seven, one, two, three, the three on the other side, and then the baby stay. Okay, uh, that's the proposed upgrades for Zingaro. Um, I am kind of running out of money, to tell you the truth, because I, uh, I just paid my boat insurance. That was seven grand, seven grand. But they insure me through Easter Island, Galapagos, and the Falkland Islands, and around Cape Horn. So that's what I'm paying for is that itinerary. Um, and then the camera, the camera I spent, I don't know what that cost. That was a lot of, I think the camera was four grand and the lens was like three. So we're investing into the boat. Uh, if you guys want to come down and you want to help us out, you, uh, you can come down and we'll host you. You we take care of all the food and liquor and everything, beer. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with a lot of crew now. And I hope that we get the same quality of crew for the rest of our crew. Um, yeah. And on, like I said, 100% of that just goes right into the boat, all this crap, you know. Uh, well, I, I'm going to deal with the heating system when I get a, li a little bit farther on in the, in the trip. I, I don't need heating right now. We, we have a Wabasto heater system, so I'm just going to buy a new Wabasto thing and switch it out. But they're kind of expensive and I need the money to pay for other things on the boat right now. So I have to like, it's like triage. Like, what do you want to do? What's, what's good and what's bad? Um, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right, I really appreciate you guys uh, uh, being here. I'm gonna I'm gonna read through your comments real quick just so I can acknowledge some of these these awesome things that you guys have been writing. I'm sure, but I can't see with my polarized glasses out in the sun here. It's crazy. While I'm reading these and, and responding to them, I'm gonna show you guys San Andreas. It is beautiful here. Beautiful. Fish Room Dave says we will get, have to get a baby painted on the front holding op the, open the shark's mouth. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Chris says repost the name of the woodworker spear gun maker. He did an over-the-top job. Much love, bro. Oh, yeah, I will um, His name is Ramey R-A-M-E-Y Ramey Jake Ramey. He calls his guns Ramey customs um, I have the same puffer tank oversized, but works great. Yep I'm, a, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a bunch of boxes. You can store all your boxes <laughs> That's awesome, man uh, You've got some work to do. Yeah, exactly Albert says, I'm jealous of the sale, right? It can sew very sturdy baby, clo baby clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to make baby clothes out of out of uh, Sunbrella. <laughs> um, sales Saturday says, where are you? I am in San Andreas, Colombia right now, off the coast of um, Guatemala. Uh, well, actually, I guess this is off the coast of Nicaragua, about 250 miles north of Panama. Um, is the PEX rated for 80 degrees C? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, David says, "I hope he joins you for the for the Cape. I hope he does too. I'm 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 inferring that you're talking about uh, Graham. Um, really appreciate everything, guys. Philister Carson, thanks for joining. Sorry, it's just at the end of the broadcast. So, look, I've got my work cut out for me. I've got to make videos on half this stuff. Oh, look at this! I just found this. God damn. One more piece. Open it up. Look at that." Well, at least I have the stuff to, oh, look at that. Oh yeah. You know what's funny is it gets hot and then this stuff, oh, that's glued. Oh, that's not good. Shit. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I got my work cut out for me. I've got tons of work to do today to get all this stuff inside and stowed. Um, <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm gonna start throwing away all this boxing uh, and packaging equipment and uh, start getting down to like the nuts and bolts of what we need to put away now. So uh, much love. I'll, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to break out the camera now and film the rest of this. So I will be putting this in this in the video series. Um, uh, yeah, that's probably it. That's about it. I think I've been talking for about an hour, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining. Much love. 
I'm coming back to YouTube next week. Uh, the patron video will be out in a week. The YouTube will be out in about a week and a half. And uh, it's got a new intro in it. Um, I'm gonna tell my story uh, from the beginning uh, in like 30 seconds. And then uh, t take you guys on the whole trip to, to Cape Horn. It's gonna be awesome, dude. This is like the most challenging thing I've ever attempted. And I'm very happy. Peace, love. Um, I'll give you some pictures of the baby bump soon. Okay. Hey, guys. Should have came and turned this thing off. I can't see anything. Oh, here we go. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Joe. Appreciate that, man.